Why the planes, the planes were going around there, boy. Lots of planes. It's 1945 and George Friel is a 25-year-old man serving his country overseas in the midst of World War II. I was in the field artillery of, of the United States Air Force. Back at home, George left behind his wife Shirley and their first child. They stayed in touch, often through mail. I think we mailed a letter every day that we could. Yes, we kept quite close. George says he wrote to his wife every day, occasionally sent home a few trinkets. But one day he boxed up a rifle and shipped it home. But it never arrived. That is, until a few weeks ago, nearly 63 years later. They said, Dad, a truck brought a box today. And, and uh, said, all of this is a box. And I never even looked at it then. In fact, it was three days before George even took a glance at the box, but when he did... It brought back memories so exact to me, you know. It was a great, a great thing. I... While the box made its way to Millersburg, all the way from Japan, about 6,000 miles away, the Friels say they're still a bit curious about what happened to the contents inside. I don't know. We don't know anything about that rifle. The, that was just exactly the way that we saw it, right out there. Just the box. Empty box came nothing in it. Gone for six decades. It still remains a mystery where the box has been all of these years, or even how it came to the Friel's front door after so long. People can't tell you why either, but uh, I know there is a reason, and I definitely am sure of what goes around and comes around. And just when they thought the story was written, the Friels say they now have one more unique chapter they can add to their novel of life. In Presque Isle County, Greg Angel, 7 and 4 News.